Miss Maria. It's Tuesday, February 13th. I'm actually walking to the gym today. Um, I didn't come in last week with an update video because I joined um, Emily's challenge. I weighed in for the February 1st, um, 226, 227, something like that. But, whew, I just had my pre-workout, so it has me speed walking. I live um, just back there in that section, and I'm headed to the gym now as a warm-up. Anyway, let me start with stats. My name is Maria. I'm 39 years old. I had VSG surgery six months ago, <laughs> August, um, <clears throat> sorry, September 7th. August 7th, 2017, with Dr. Wesley Curtin at the Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. My overall recorded highest weight was 400 pounds. The day I went for my consultation, I was 292. The date of surgery, I was 275. Um, as of this morning, I'm 225. Point six, I think, or four, but that's not my most reported weight. Last week, I dropped down to 222 pounds. That's my lowest reported weight so far. I put back on some weight. Um, I know it's probably the fluctuation with me starting to incorporate working out right now because obviously muscle weighs more than fat. But, um, yeah, so, um, I started, I only worked out three days last week. Why? Because I injured my finger at, at work, so I can't do any weights or anything like that, solely cardio for the moment. So, um, this week my commitment is five days a week working out. Um, I worked out last night when I got out of work at 9.30. It's Tuesday. I'm off of work today and tomorrow. So, since my husband takes the car to work the days that I don't work, the gym is not too far away. So I just decided to walk it. My walk to the gym is considered my warm-up. And then when I actually get to the gym, I'll have my workout session. 30 to 45 minutes, depending. I'll walk back home. That'll be my cool down. Only on the days that I'm not working. Um, what's been going on this time? I've had some cheats. Um, my husband ordered uh, some pizza from Papa John's. That was shaped like a heart, so that was cute. <coughs> also, um, I got sick over the weekend for whatever reason. I couldn't hold anything down. No matter what I put in my sleeve, I just came back up. Um, let's see. I've been keeping my calories between 800 and 1200 calories. I'm trying to keep my carbs under 50, um, no less than 20. Um, I had a lot of stress the week before because I went up for a change in my position at work. Didn't get the position. I worked two years to get that position. That didn't happen. So now I apply for a different spot. Let's see what happens with that. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I no longer do healthcare work. I work at Home Depot now, but I do. I would like to get back in the medical field, so that's just something I'm putting out there, you know, speaking into existence type of thing. Pretty much, if I don't get this position, I'm gonna start applying for healthcare jobs and just go back to what I know. 20 years is not gonna go to waste. Um, let's see. Yeah, um, my six-month surgery happened. 
and I think that's when I weighed in on the day <laughs> at 222. Then my weight shot back up, you know, from stress and working out and switching things over. So, my first six months of this journey, I tried to work out, <clears throat> um, pretty much walking and Zumba. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I didn't stick to anything. I pretty much just watched what I ate. And I lost 50 pounds on my own with my tool. And what I mean by that is being at my sur date of surgery weight was 275. I dropped down to 222. I'm 225. So I lost 50 pounds in six months with my tool. Just watching my diet. Now is when the honeymoon phase is over. In my mind, it's where now I have to incorporate exercise and continuing to watch what I eat in order to take my journey with my sleeve to the next level. So overall, in total, with my lowest weight, I've lost over 177 pounds in total. That's prior to VSG and including VSG. 177 pounds I lost. So, yeah. Still walking, obviously. So, um, that's all I'm doing. I have a little bit of a OCD with the scale. I'm working on trying to stop that habit. Pretty much what I'll do is I'll weigh myself at my lowest weight. For whatever reason, I get excited and I have to stop rewarding myself with food because that's when the weight creeps back up. Then I'll weigh myself daily until my weight drops back down to my lowest weight. Then I'll go weigh weigh in once a week but for this challenge hashtag ek90 day um emily on keto on youtube so and also that's the hashtag for instagram as well it's a 90 day challenge we started february 1st anyway um with this challenge comes accountability and commitment so my first week, a little touch and go, and now it's going to be pretty much smooth sailing. Once I get through the five days a week this week, I'll see how I feel, I'll see how my weight is, um, then I'll go ahead and just continue to do it once a week later for the challenge purposes. And then... Um, Let's see. I'll just see where it goes. I mean, I'm just gonna be working out, cardio. Once my hand heals, I'll incorporate on um, strength training again. Um, I just need some tips and ideas, guys. I'm not too familiar with routines and sets and stuff like that in the gym. What should I work on? Push, pull, shoulders, back, leg, chest, arms, abs what workouts to do which days while incorporating cardio. I need a routine, so any suggestions you guys may have will be very grateful. Whew. Yeah, this pre-workout got me walking like a nutcase, but that's a hell of a workout, huh? <laughs> pre-workout before I actually get to the gym. Anyway, um, I just wanted to come in to you, with you guys give you guys an update since I didn't update last week and or yesterday so peace and I will see you guys later comment rate subscribe give me any comments suggestions on things to do for a workout and I will check in with you guys later